Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the details about 3 wire, delta connected and balance load. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications, soft copy of this material available in the drive, the link is given in the description box. So this is the 3 phase delta connected and balance load. Balance load the video is available separately, detail is given in the description box. This is coming under unbalanced load. Let us assume a phase sequence of RYB, red, yellow, blue. Let us the reference phaser be VRY. The voltage across R phase and Y phase VRY is taken as a reference phaser vector. The three phase delta connected unbalanced load with conventional polarity of voltage and direction of current is shown below. First we will see the conventional polarity of voltage and current for a balanced unbalanced delta connected. Now we will refer the diagram. So this is the RY phase, RYB, three phases available, this is delta connected. One end of the load is connected to another end of the another load. So it is connected end to end, all three loads are connected end to end, from that the three wires are taken out. So this side is referred as a line voltage or line current. This is the phase voltage or phase current, right. So VRY is the line voltage between R phase and Y phase. V, YB is the line voltage between Y phase and B phase. VBR is the line voltage between B phase and R phase. IR is the line, line current from the R phase. IY is the line, line current from Y phase. IB is the line current from B phase. Right. Thereafter, it will, this IY will go to R phase. It is splitted, splitted into two. IRY and IBR, right, the current is split. This is phase current. IRY is the phase current between R phase and Y phase. IBR is the phase current between IB and IR. Similarly, this IY is split into two, IYB and IRY. Similarly, IB is split into IYB and IBR, right. So, the current is split. So, IR is the vector's difference of IRY and IBR. Similarly, this IY is the vector difference of IYB and IBR, IYB and I, IRY. This IB is the vector difference of IBR and IYB. So, the current is splitted. But see the voltage here, VRY is the voltage between R and Y. Same voltages appear across here also, VRY, right. The, this is the phase voltage, this is the line voltage, both are equal because the same voltages appear across line as well as phase. So, in the delta connected, the line voltage is equal to phase voltage, but the line current is the vector difference of phase, volt, phase currents, right, just opposite to that of star connected. In star connected, the currents are equal, voltages are vector difference. Here, voltage is equal, current is vector difference, right. So, then the, we have the impedance, Z, R, Y, is that BR, is that YB. Now we will see the what is that, is that RY is the, is that RY with an angle of pi RY, that is the angle between R and Y. Is that YB, is the, is that YB with an angle of pi YB. Is that BR, is the, is that BR with an angle of pi BR. Now we will go to the current and voltage, further analysis of the current and voltage of this unbalanced delta connected load. So, the line voltage of the supply or source for RYB sequence are VRY equal to VL with an angle theta, with an angle 0. We already discussed that VRY is taken as a reference. So, it is this equal to line voltage with an angle 0. VYB is the VL with an angle minus 120 degree. We know that there is a 120 degree phase displacement between each and every phase. Then VBR equal to VL into minus 240 degree, right. So, each and every phase displaced by 120 degree, where VL is the magnitude of the line voltage. In delta connected load, the impedances are connected between two lines, right. We already know that the R, Z, R, Z, B, R mean, the, it is connected between B phase and R phase. Z, Y, B means connected between Y and B. Based on that, we can go for further analysis. Hence, the voltage across the impedance connected between two lines will be same as that of 
line voltage between the two lines right the voltage across impedance is same as the line voltage therefore the phase voltage will be same as that of line voltage of the source this already we discussed the current is the vector difference but the voltage is same phase voltage equal to line voltage since the line voltages are balanced the phase voltages of the load also balanced even though the load impedance are unbalanced so now we are analyzing the unbalanced load but the line voltage is balanced so that we assume that the phase voltage also will be balanced even though the impedances are unbalanced so we are assuming that condition based on that we can go for further analysis therefore the phase voltages are the phase voltages are vry equal to v with an angle 0 vyb equal to v with an angle minus 120 vbr equal to v with an angle minus 240 degree what is that vl v is nothing but vl magnitude of the phase voltage right we know that all are displaced by 120 degree we assume that even the load is unbalanced the line voltage equal to phase voltage based on that we have 0 degree minus 120 degree and 240 degree the phase currents are given by the ratio of phase voltage and phase impedance now we calculated the phase voltage from that we can easily calculate the phase current the phase current is nothing but is a ratio of v i equal to v by r v is nothing but phase voltage r is phase impedance by using the ohms law in the ac circuit right the phase voltages are calculated now we are calculating the phase current i r y i r y equal to v r y divided by z r y that is equal to i r y with an angle gamma r y i y b equal to v y b divided by z y b that is equal to i y b with an angle of gamma y b i b r equal to v b r divided by z b r that is i b r with an angle of gamma b r right now we calculated the phase currents by using the phase voltage and impedance we calculated the phase current now we'll calculate the line current we need to find the value of line current So this I R Y I Y B I B R the magnitude of phase current. Gamma R Y gamma Y B gamma B R as the phase angle of phase currents. Right now phase currents are calculated. From that we can calculate the line current by using K C L at node R Y B. The line current can be calculated as below. Right. So we already know that the current is the, the line current is the vector difference of phase current. So that I R equal to I R Y minus I B R that we already discussed in the diagram itself. I Y B equal to I Y equal to I Y B minus I R Y. I B equal to I B R minus I Y B. Right from the diagram it is clearly given that current is splitted. So the, the line current equal to vector difference of two phase currents. Right now we calculated the line current also. First we calculated phase voltage from that line voltage. From that we calculated the line current also. Now we will go for the power calculation. Power calculation in the three phase circuit. So power consumed by three phase load equal to P. P equal to power consumed by R load, power consumed by Y load, power consumed by B load. That is P equal to magnitude of Vry into magnitude of Vr Iry into cos pi 1 plus magnitude of vyb magnitude of iyb into cos pi 2 plus magnitude of vbr magnitude of ibr into cos pi 3 right what is that pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 pi 1 is the phase difference between vry and iry pi 2 is the phase difference between vyb and iyb pi 3 is the phase difference between vbr and ibr right so that this from this phase difference we can easily calculate pi 1, pi 2 and pi 3. So further some more de details are available. Pi 1 equal to 0 minus gamma Ry. This gamma Ry already available in the previous expression. Similarly pi 2 equal to minus 120 minus gamma Yb. Pi 3 equal to minus 240 minus gamma Ybr. These three angles are already available. These angles are decided is each phase is displaced by 120 degree. So from that pi 1 is nothing but pi ry pi 2 is pi yb 
phi 3 is phi br right so in this video we discuss the unbalanced delta connection load from the diagram first analyze the direction of phase voltage and phase current line voltage and line current then we calculated the phase voltage from that we calculated the line voltage then we calculated the phase current from that we calculated the line current by using that finally we calculated the current uh, calculate the power calculation in that we have pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 three angles are available that expression also finally we evaluated subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening